NFL 2006 on Xbox gets a big graphical upgrade. This game wasn't released on PS3, only on Xbox 360. Everything is in HD, but it's not an upscaled version of the same game you get on PS2. No, no, the game was built from ground up, but even if the animations look more believable most of the times, and the overall look is better than in, pa in the past generation, it still has its fair share of flaws. Well, NFL will, will have time to ameliorate this matter since it's the first installment out of many. Even if the animations look way better, they still become jerky or just look odd. Also, building the game from ground up means leaving aside features NFL already had apparently. Defensive playmaker controls don't exist anymore, on offense there are no formation shifts, though you can activate hot routes, call audibles and or send players in motion. And another omission in the game is the ability to challenge plays, which is gone too. And omissions continue, no minicamp mode, no practice mode, no mini games, no create a player, and no superstar mode. But at least you have good graphics, right? And these scores on Metacritic, wow, I've never seen a game to be a 0 and a total 10 at the same time. In Madden NFL 2007, they upgraded the hit stick right analog system into the highlight stick. And they added a new feature, the lead blocking control. And this feature, combined with the other one, makes you feel more in control of the game. And in some parts, even makes the game seem more realistic. You also get a NFL Superstar Hall of Fame mode, where you start as a nobody and turn into someone recognizable. This one too is a very solid game. Madden NFL 2008 is the first Madden game worth buying for your PS3 or Xbox 360. It has all the features that were cut out in the first game, and it has Hit Stick version 2.0. And the visuals are improved, and the AI is better. You also get a new weapon system now, meaning that some players have an icon with, with a specific attribute, for example one is a hard hitter. Another one has accurate shots and so on. And this means that both teams have some unfair advantages. But if they both have skilled players, then the attributes nullify themselves. And this adds a little more strategy to the game. And it's it's a nice new addition. NFL Tour feels like NFL Street. It's not street because you don't play on the street, but in a stadium that looks like you are in some sort of casino rather than a stadium. You play in shorts, not in the full equipment, and the teams are comprised of 7 people. Also the game isn't strategic. It focuses on flashy moves and it favors offensive play. If you play on defense, you will lose. You either go on the offense or you lose. So the strategy is almost gone in the game. Also game modes are very thin, having only two game modes that are actually distinct one from another. Madden NFL 2009 brings a new commentator, Chris Collinsworth, and now the game tells you where you make mistakes so that you can correct them. The game is the best one to learn how to play Madden, as it's very user friendly, telling you what you do wrong. In REST, new additions are the buff plays, that let you view your play and then display fake routes to mislead your opponent. Also the animations were improved so that the players move in a more believable fashion. NFL 2009 Head Coach is a game I couldn't get my hands on, so I can't review it, but just know that it's a strategy game. A manager game. You have the ability to sign and trade players, scout, draft prospects, call plays and perform just about every other task that you can imagine a coach or is responsible for. Madden NFL 10 brings as innovations an online franchise mode and the new tax system, which consists of better gang tackles. This new system makes the game more realistic. But still, solo tackles are easier to dodge than in previous games. Also, there are more background 
little details that make the game a feast. Like coaches yelling at players or seeing fans in the stadium do all sorts of fan stuff. Also the passing system has been improved in the game. But the little details might annoy you at times because you just want to play your game and are forced to skip or to just watch many people doing normal people stuff in the stadium. In Madden NFL 11, the AI is a little better, the animations are better and the commentary is better. In rest, in what the game modes are concerned, they are the same as last year. Madden NFL 12 has slight improvements in presentation. It has a new lighting system, 3D grass, a new broadcast camera and new player animations. Also in gameplay there is the player trait system, meaning that each player has different personalized stats, so that they perform different on the field. But overall even with these improvements it feels like the same experience from last year. It's not a bad thing though, considering that Madden is already a monster experience. NFL Blitz is an arcade game, so the game is more silly. Everything is exaggerated. You can throw farther, more in more extreme ways, score in impossible fashions, you get a lot of unlockables, and the game is pretty funny. It's an okay game. But if you play it in co-op, you can have a lot of fun with it. I mean, just look at the video from Zelda Extreme. I will leave a link in the description. Just watch the video to see how fun this game can get. Madden 13 has a new career mode, the connected career, which is better than the franchise mode because it gives you more options. In Rust the graphics were improved and there are new animations, and the physics are also improved. Because this year marks the 25th anniversary of Madden video games, instead of the natural title of Madden 14, they've chosen something more commemorative, Madden 25, and you can see the commemoration part in the retrospective trivia from the loading screens. The connected franchise now has a new mode, called Owner Mode, Ultimate Team, the trading card game, has returned, in rest, everything is improved. Aside the commentary that still needs improving, just like in all of the games. In Rust, you get new animations, better looking graphics, the gameplay is better, being a solid experience again. In Madden 15, the defensive system has been improved, as well as the play calling system. And aside of this, other small tweaks were made to make a great experience even greater. I know it doesn't sound much, but some of the mentioned improvements add to the experience, making it palpably better. They are not groundbreaking or game changing, but they should make the game feel a little better. In Madden 16 you get a new mode, Draft Champions, where you draft players and a coach and turn them from nobodies to legends. In rest, there is a better, more simplified passing system and it has new animations so that now you get less, less weird animations like those not so realistic player limping animations. And Madden 17 is very similar to 16, but it has new commentators and an updated roster. It still is a solid game, but it's way too similar to last year's game, Madden 16. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the game, NFL Arcade, which, as the title says, it's an arcade style of Madden game. You play 5 on 5, and the whole game is very arcadey. It still puts you to some strategy, unlike the other arcade games in this list that were only about going in the offense, but still, it doesn't really have a lot of depth to it. You have only 7 plays to choose from, but you get game changers, 13 separate power-ups. This include freezing one enemy in his tracks, adding your entire offensive or defensive line 
on the field or adding decoy balls during a pass play. The opponent team also can miraculously use the best game changers when it loses and as I said the game doesn't have death. Not only that during your plays you are limited but you are limited in game modes too. You play only arcade style of games meaning one match. Then you go back to the menu screen and choose another match. You don't have other game modes like franchise or building teams, only exhibition matches. But the game has excuses. I mean, it's an arcade Xbox game and a small PSN game, so it's not a big budget game. It has excuses. So for some quick fun, it's still a solid game. You can try it out. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell you the thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.